Hey, what's going on YouTube? How's everybody making out today? Thursday afternoon here, 10 after 1. And I got some pieces that I want to show you that's been hovering around in my collection for quite some time. Well, quite a few years. And, um, well, I wanted to show them to you. Um, and that's what I'm going to start doing. Like I have mentioned before, I'm going to start showing you knives that just have been sitting in the collection. Don't really get shown a whole lot and that are just, uh, just sitting in there. So we'll go ahead and take a look at a few of these pieces and that's what we'll do. Um, all these knives come from A.G. Russell. Um, A.G. Russell is, uh, a unique, so to speak, uh, place to shop. And um, the founder, A.G. Russell, was a very unique guy. He was an old school fella that liked to do things his way. And he liked to uh, build things uh, the way he liked them at a cost that everyone could afford. That's the way A.G. Russell thought about things. And I don't really know a lot about the guy. Just a little bit of the interviews I saw him do on the internet and just you know, stuff like that. He seemed like a pretty decent guy. Um, but he always did a twist uh, on his knives. He always thought he could improve on knives that were already existing. For example, this one. This is the AG uh, Russell Rancher. This one is called the Rancher. It's a lockback. And I do believe that this is a twist off of a, a side buster. Um, this is A.G. Russell's uh, rendition of a side buster, I do believe. Um, and he did that with all his knives. He put a, he changed a lot of his knives and he thought he, he would make knives to what he thought would be better. And that's just what he did. Um, but this is the Rancher, and if you go over to agrussell.com, the website, you'll see a lot of, uh, not beautiful knives. He's got modern knives over there, older knives, and it, it's just a, a pretty um, a pretty neat place to go uh, shop for your cutlery. Um, but yeah, this is the Rancher. This um, is the Rancher, and these are very affordable knives. Um, the scales are going to come in with uh, FRN. The uh, steel is 8CR 13 MOV, but I hear now, I don't know how true it is, but I hear that um, the heat treat on uh, AG Russell's steels that he, his 8CR 13 MOV and um, all his lower end steels, um, are really done well when it comes to heat treating. Now, I've used this knife plenty of times before, and I could tell you, 8CR13, I don't have a problem with 8CR13 MOV at all. Um, I think that's, that's just a number out there that when you hear it, it's just automatically poo-pooed upon. I don't think it dulls out that quick. I never found that 8CR13 MOV dulls out that quick. It just don't, not for me, it don't, not what I was using the knife for. Um, I mean, I could get through days with using 8CR 13 MOV. Now, if you're opening up cement bags all day, now that's a different story. But if you're just using it in your everyday, normal, daily tasks, 8CR 13 MOV is no problem, you know, uh, we have to fit, we have to realize where we came from. We're, we're just so used to all these super steels and all these big high end steels. Now these lower end budget steels are all no good. That that's just the way it is. You know what I mean? To me, steels never bothered me. And for that reason is because I was always, well, not always, but I got into traditional knives and most of my steels are 01 tool steel, 1095 uh, carbon steel, all these softer steels. And 
I'm I'm not beating all my knives anyway like that. I don't need to. Um, I'm not going on in the woods and slamming on 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 tree stumps and all that stuff. I don't need my my uh, my steels to be up that high. You know what I mean? I just don't. I just don't. Um, but yeah, this is the Rancher. And I really, really like it a lot. I, I mean, the body on this with this full flat grind, you got this big, uh, tall uh, belly on it. Um, it is a great cutting. Uh, it's the reflection. It's just, um, it's just a very, very great knife. Uh, EDC budget knife. I think they're 65, 60 or 60. I think they're more like 60 bucks. Um, they come with washers, they're on washers, they're really, really, like, ever so smooth, um, the lockback smooth, it's not like using regular, like, like, you know how lockbacks are sometimes tough, and, um, they're tough to open, these open just, like, really, really nice, um, that's just because they got washers in there and the construction of this knife is just modern. Mostly it's a modern knife, you know, it's a modern, that's what it is. It's a modern knife. I wouldn't, I don't even know if this is a traditional. I don't think so. Um, but yeah, that's, they're called the Rancher. If you're interested, A.G. Russell. And the other one that I have, now they have different, uh, shapes, different, um, Blade styles over there that are really cool. They got worn clip. They got all kind of uh, whatever floats your boat. Um, this is just a different one. This is, again, this is the AG Russell Rancher 8CR 13MOV uh, lockback. They give you this, uh, what is this? Uh, it's like an F, it's still FRN, but it's like a um, um, jigged. It, it's supposed to mimic uh, jigging, which is pretty cool. Again, you got the um, pocket clip right there. Real nice release on the, um, so you could see how nice and easy everything opens and closes. Um, but I really love this knife. Uh, a lot. I really, I care. I, I like this knife a lot just because it's just this, but this, uh, blade shape is just, I mean, you get it in hand and any kind of cutting you need to do, man, you're going to get it done with this, with this, because this blade is so fantastic. You know what I mean? Um, and it just works great. And you've got your, uh, pocket clip right here. It goes right in your pocket. Uh, it's a beautiful, nice, I think it's a nice, attractive looking knife. Um, and you just can't beat it. You, you, you just really can't beat it. Now, fit and finish isn't going to be all that, you know, like a, you know, you're going to have some gapping there. That's what you're looking at, you know, but this is just, you're going to expect some of this stuff. Um, but nevertheless, I think it's a fantastic piece. Moving on. Here's another uh, A.G. Russell piece. Uh, now, A.G. Russell, once again, this is his rendition or his, uh, the way he thought a sunfish should be uh, designed. This is his way of uh, doing his sunfish. It's a lockback. And the only thing I can tell you, it's G10, some of the most beautiful G10 scales that I've ever seen. The construction of this thing is lock solid, just lock solid tough. Uh, 8CR 13 MOV, uh, China 8CR 13 MOV right there. I wish that that wasn't on there, but it is. Uh, that's about the only thing that's not so good about this knife. But you can look around this, because this knife is that incredible. I'll never forget the night I was sitting in bed. I was laying in bed. This is a true story. 
And I knew of A.G. Russell Knives. I knew, I knew who, I was there, I was, I visited the company before on their site. And Rick Warthog uh, came, he did a video on this knife. He bought one of these in the, um, I think he bought the uh, jigged, jigged, uh, the jigged, he bought the jigged one. Um... But when I saw this knife, I said to myself, oh, my God, I, I got to get this knife. I got to get it because it was that it was that cool and it was that affordable. Um, man, I don't know how much I'm trying, I was trying to remember the, 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 the price of the, this knife. I think it was maybe 60, like 60 bucks. I think it was like 60 bucks. And man, I'm going to tell you, this knife is absolutely fantastic. Um, just as far as the cutting ability that you get on this knife, it is absolutely fantastic. You got this cut wedge up here. Um, and especially if you're a sunfish guy, or if you like sunfish, the sunfish pattern, uh, this is your knife. This is your knife. You got this lock back here. Um, it's really, again, everything's on washers. It's so easy to open and close. Watch, watch how, watch the closing and opening. How easy, watch. Look, see it? It's just fantastic. Centering right down the, right down the middle on it. Um, G10 is done beautifully, but just a heck of a knife to, listen to that lock up, man. That's, you wouldn't, you wouldn't believe that this thing is just a beast. Listen to this lockup again. Ready? Listen carefully. That's a, that's a crazy lockup, man. That is a crazy lockup. And this knife, it's, it's probably one of the sharpest knives that I put, you could put your finger on. Um, I touch up all my knives. Uh, but this is just on another level. I'm telling you, as far as sharpness goes, this thing is just so gosh darn sharp. Um, but that's it. That's the AG Russell uh, Sunfish. That's the Sunfish. Um, and it's a great knife. It is a fantastic knife. If, you, Like I said, if you're in the Sunfish knives, this is a no-brainer for you to get, you know, head over to A.G. Russell and um, pick one of these up. It's well-built. Lockup is really tight. Uh, you've got this up, all this belly for cut. I mean, you could do some serious hardcore cutting with this in your hand. I mean, you could just cut, man. You could bear down on this thing and just do some cutting. See the blade stock on it, how it just tapers down. I love how it just, it's real wide, and then it just gradually just tapers, tapers, tapers down to that point. Isn't that cool, man? Um, just a cool knife, you know what I mean? Not real expensive knives here that I'm showing you. Um, just affordable, good, working, um, working knives, you know what I mean? Look at that. Let's put them both side by side, the ranchers. I mean, if you can't think, if you don't think that they look cool, I mean, I, you know, I don't know what to say, you know, but I just think that they're fantastic. In the hand, they feel real good. These are super light. I mean, just feathers. I mean, you're feathers, feather light, feather lightweight. You got the pocket clip, deep pocket clip right there. The knife looks good, feels good in hand. Great cutter. Uh, you know, I, that, it is what it is. I don't know what more I could say. Anyway, I'm going to let you uh, get down the road on that one. I just wanted to give you guys a peek at these. Let me know what you think. And uh, that's the end of it, I guess. Let me know what you think, guys. Be good, be well, be safe. And you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks, guys. Be well.